Crossway came to various numbers, I think, in about 1974, 76, and started practicing on the other side of town. We were about 80% large animal at that time, and 20% uh, small, and then over the years, that's changed to a shift towards small animal quite significantly. Um, three and a half years ago, we were able to build a new purpose-built practice and moved into that. And then in the last 12 months ago, our large animal work had sort of deteriorated to nothing, so we stopped it. Well, we were, we wanted to build a place that we could live in for the next 30 or 40 years. Um, first off, uh, we wanted someone some parking, having been in a place where there was absolutely none. And we had an idea. We tried to build um, and move for about 10 years, and we looked at one place which was similar in sort of size to this, and had a, we had an idea that we could have fitted what we wanted into this size building. So because of the shape of the plot and everything else, we were a bit limited in what shape we could have. Um, we decided on the size we thought we needed based on the number of consulting groups and theatres and this and that, and then worked out a floor plan. Um, so it was several things really. We obviously wanted to be able to expand. Um, we wanted to be able to do the work that we were doing and more in a clinical environment that was suitable. Borrowing money was cheap because interest rates have been low. Yeah. Um, but you are a bit nervous at that time when the economy seems to be faltering. Um, but uh, it has been just the best thing that we could have ever done. We've increased 10% year on year since we've been in. We've had to increase the number of staff to, to cope with it. We're doing out of hours for surrounding practices. <laughs> I think we're nice to people and we treat people as individuals. And, and, um, and we work hard. Uh, I think as, as sort of senior partners or as, as sort of owners, you need to be as available as much as you can. Yeah, yeah there's trending to talk about work-life balance and all that sort of thing. But if it's your own business and you care about it, you need to be as as, um, as available as you can be to anyone who wants to see you whenever they want to see you. All the partners in this practice have done that for yeah. 40 years. They, yeah. They've they've been the face of the practice because obviously your assistants are going to come and go. Um, some of them have stayed and become partners. Um, but that certainly would be the overwhelming ethos of the practice for 40 years would be to leave from the front. Yeah. We're doing some quite a lot of cardiology and do some cardiothoracic surgery. Uh, we're doing a lot of orthopaedics, um, so we'll offer all sorts of treatments for cruciates and fracture repairs. Now we're doing quite a lot of imaging as well. Yeah. Um, we do offer referrals if we get stuck, um, but we do do stuff that would otherwise be referred and some people choose to stay with us even though they could be referred. Yeah. And you it might be something that we yeah. certainly consider once we've got to grips with his capabilities and, and our capabilities really. Um, it's how we used C CT scanning before we had our own yeah. and it worked well for us then so I, I can't see that not working for other practices if they're, if they're up for it. I am positive for independent practice, I guess that yeah. seems to be the thing these days if you're independent or corporate. Um, I, I am really excited about the future. Independent practice is going to have to work hard and yeah. they're going to offer something quite different to corporate practice, but I don't think that's impossible at all. 